Hey everyone, you guys know that I'm obsessed with broth and I talk about it all the time. Um, and I've gotten a lot of questions about doing kind of a more thorough explanation of it because I've only been able to really show it on some TV shows where I can't really take my time with it. And um, I was able to talk about it in my book, but it's totally different when you actually see how easy it is. So that is what I'm gonna show you in this video. So first, when you look at these bones, do not let them freak you out because this is like the fountain of youth. So when you think about what the human body is made of, it's protein, collagen, which is the most abundant protein, um, bones, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, you know. So when you take these bones and you cook them down for hours at a time, all of that stuff leaches into this incredible soup or broth that you drink. It gets broken down to the most bioavailable form, which means that your body can suck it up right away and assimilate it. It makes you look younger. We want collagen. You know, we do all these different like, you know, collagen treatments and all these, you know, collagen creams and all this stuff. But if you're drinking broth, you're literally getting collagen from the inside out. Athletes, people who work out a lot, it lubricates your joints. Um, and it's like a like feeds like, like it feeds your body basically what you're made of. If you think about the word collagen, it actually is derived from the Greek word glue. So it's literally the glue that holds you together. When I first heard of broth, I was like, oh, that's a soup that you have to cook for, you have to be a professional chef. And all, you know, you, my mother, who's, as you guys know, is a gourmet chef, you know, when you think, I think about you have to be as good as her to make a broth and to make it into like sauces and a roux or whatever it is, but it's so not true. Um, I actually want to time this. I want to time how fast it is to get everything into the crock pot so you guys can see how easy the prep is. Okay, so is someone gonna time it? Okay, someone's gonna time it. So these bones, just so you know, when, when you get your bones from your butcher or the store, wherever you get them from, it's really important that they're grass fed because the whole point of this is to heal your body. So when you're doing something like this, and which is why I'm such an advocate of eating organic food, those pesticides and herbicides and hormones and all the stuff they put into this food that our animals eat, that is, you know, goes directly into our body. So these are the bones. Don't let it scare you. Give them a little rinse because sometimes when the machines at the butcher cuts them, it actually leaves a little bit of the grime on them. So you just want to give them a nice rinse. Okay, so hang on because we're going to start the timer now. Okay, great. Celery. I literally been doing this so much, I just use my hands a lot. Give it a little rinse. Straight into the pot. Carrots. These are already scrubbed because I get them from the farmer's market and they're usually covered in dirt. So before I um, put them in my fridge, I actually already give them a scrub. So they're pretty much clean, but I rinse them anyway. So carrot, oops. Now there's a timer, I'm trying to do it quickly. Okay, but this is actually how I do it at home because it's like I've been doing this for so long. So then cut off the top. Usually I take off the skin um, of the onion. And then we have an onion, I literally just cut it crosswise like that. Onion, garlic, I just cut it right down the middle. So I get these from the farmer's market so they still have their stock in them. So sometimes you gotta like pull it off. We're, gonna, we're throwing the stock in. So then I do a little bit of ginger. I usually cut it lengthwise like that. Then this is a secret weapon. This is fermented garlic. And it's like why drinking kombucha and sauerkraut, I mean, it's fermented, so you know it really helps with gut flora, things like that. It also tastes really good and gives like this richness to the broth, which is amazing. Okay, so now we're throwing in the bones. That's knuckle. This is bone in short rib, and this is the marrow. These are all grass-fed organic bones that I get from my butcher. And the timer's still running. Hang on. Water. 
This is just a regular crock pot that I have and I use all the time. Just filling it up. That is so not fair that filling up this water is like the time we're still running. Come on. This is gonna be like a minute of my time. This is as high as the sink goes. Okay, cool. So then, rosemary, thyme, organic. Then I also love to, whenever I make um, any kind of stock, I love adding bay leaves. So I'll put two bay leaves in there. And then you wanna do whole black peppercorns, just about like a couple teaspoons, and some Himalayan salt. Because I use a lot of this to make my daughter's food, I don't put that much salt in it, so you'll definitely have to add salt later when you heat it up if it's for you. And every crock pot is different. Um, I used to cook my broth for only like 10 to 12 hours, and now I love cooking it even longer for like 20 hours. Okay, timer off. How much? How long? Under five minutes. Under five minutes. <laughs> under five minutes. You can make your broth in under five minutes. That's that. That's the broth. And now I'm going to show you what happens after all of this. So this is what you cooked your broth in. So after it cooks for 15 hours, 20 hours, whatever you guys do, let it cool down. Then you're going to take it with little mitts, however, you know, whatever safe for you. Um, you're going to pour it through a strainer into some kind of container. A lot of times I'll just put a strainer in a big pot like this and I'll dump all of the bones and everything in here and the amazing broth will be coming through there. And then I just pop this whole thing in the fridge. So then whenever, when you have the container that the broth went into, you put it in the fridge overnight. So this is my broth that I made. This has been in my fridge overnight. Here's what it looks like, and don't let this freak you out. So this is the fat that you don't want, and I'm gonna tell you how to get rid of it. I just take a really sharp knife, and I just cut all the way around. And one of the things I always try to do is I try to get it out in one piece. I've made, so, oop, okay. Almost, look at that! It all came out in one piece. You throw that away, that is going bye-bye. And what's left is the broth. So what's under there, you can see, this has been outside of um, the fridge for a minute to do this video, but you can see how it's still, you know, it's like jello-y and gelatiny. So then this is the good stuff. So now what you want to do is you can either store it in the fridge in this or you can just transfer it what I'll normally do. See all that? So usually one broth will fill about two of these. Um, and then I'll just store it like that, you know? And then whenever I make my broth, cook with it or whatever, a lot of times what I'll do is, because I drink it like a, like, um, a multivitamin, I'll just ladle some of it into a pot and as this stays in the fridge, this melted a little bit because I've had it out of the fridge, but um, I'll literally heat up about that much. I don't know if you could see that, but that's how much I'll do. And then I just drink mine like a tea. I just drink it like a tonic. And because I don't put that much salt in it because my daughter drinks this a lot, um, I always add salt to mine my Himalayan salt, which is my favorite. And it heats up in about, you know, a minute. I like everything super hot, like almost burning me. So if I'm, if something's cold, I need it to be like freezing, freezing cold. And if it's hot, it needs to basically be burning me. All my friends always make fun of me because I, I'll give them something to drink and they're like, that. like they get burned because it's so, it's so hot. So then you just melt this down. And then it just becomes like a tea. And this is your 
nutritious bra. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you know whenever I put up a new video. And I hope this answered all your questions. If not, just ask me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope this is hot enough. I don't know, it might not be. It's not hot enough. We gotta heat it up. We gotta heat it up. Even though there's steam, it's not hot enough. I need it like burning me.